What's up guys, my name is Chris aka Malak. This is The Trenchers. We dive deep into Solana meme coins and all things crypto. Today's video, we're gonna dive into Trojan. As you can see here, I have up on the screen, this is the trading bot that I use within Telegram to buy and sell tokens. It's got a lot of great features and I wanna dive into some settings that I use and I also wanna dive into copy trading. It's something that I'm asked for a lot. It's not easy, but it's simple and you're gonna understand what that means going forward in this video. So if you see up here, I am using Trojan, the Telegram bot. It is now multi-wallet, you can create new wallets within the program, and you can disperse tokens through those, so uh, Solana meme coins are really evolving, I'll say that, that's for sure. <clears throat> so I have it up here. I'm gonna assume you already have Telegram, you have the bot, you watched my previous videos, so you have Solana in here already and you're ready to get going. And I'm gonna also assume you know how to track wallets. If that is not true, visit my homepage and I do have a video, video sorry, about wallet tracking. So I'll try to go slow-ish for you. Okay, so let's dive into this. So, here we have Trojan, formerly known as Photon. Um, and there's a lot of things here. So buy, sell, I don't really ever use these functionalities in the way of clicking. Commands are really the way to go. Uh, positions, this is a key one. So you'll click positions or you'll type slash positions and it'll show you all the positions you have available and then you can simply click the name and it'll bring you to that position where you can then sell those tokens so that's that's pretty straightforward so we're going to go slash start brings back to this home screen so limit orders are really great uh what you can do with a limit order here let me uh i have i need it i don't want to dox my wallet but i would like to actually show um Okay, so I want to show you how to actually use limit order. So I just sent some Solana to this new fresh wallet that I just set up. So I'm going to copy paste a contract into the bot. It brings up this and let's just go ahead and do a small buy on this token. So you see here it's now fetching the best price possible, putting the order in. So we've now purchased this token. All I do is paste the contract in, tell it how much I want it and away we go. So now that we have that, if I go slash positions, it will show me that position. So I'm currently down almost 4%. That's no problem at all. And I wanna start selling this thing, okay? So for one, you can just click sell 50%, sell 100%, whichever you like to do, or a percentage as you can see here. Or additionally, you could just buy more if that's also what you're thinking. But we want to do a limit order. And the reason you'd want to do a limit order is A, you're going AFK, you're going away from the keyboard, you're not sitting there, or you're going to bed for the night, whatever it may be. And if this token goes up significantly or down significantly, you want to sell it, right? A percentage of it. So you click limit orders and um, it'll show you the orders that you have ready we don't actually have any so what we need to do is go actually to positions and click the token so after you click it it'll bring up this and here we can decide how we're going to sell this token so you go to positions you click the token and it'll bring us to this page you can dca which means dollar cost average out so you can sell it every one minute for an hour. That's a good way of going about things as well if you just do a small amount. Or you can do a limit. So what this means is we're gonna sell say 50% of this at a certain trigger price or percent change. So uh, let's go 150% so there we go 
we're gonna sell half of this token if the price increases by 150%. Boom, just like that. So now when we click view orders, here it is. The other option is you can actually set the price. I find price harder to work with because a lot of these tokens have so many zeros on the price because of the supply. It's a psychological thing. People think, oh, if this goes to a dollar, I'll be a trillionaire. So a lot of these tokens have a lot of supply, which means price of the token is quite low so figuring out the price you'd want to sell at can be difficult it's a mouthful more of the story is just use percentage that's probably the best way of going about things so limit orders are really really great slash positions this is where we're at we were down four percent look at this now we're up four percent amazing um obviously buying you know fifteen dollars worth isn't gonna change our lives that's for sure but this is just for you know, we're just kind of learning here. So we're gonna go back to our main page. So now that you know how to do limit orders, DCA orders, not gonna get into that. Um, that's really, if you if you get a massive win and you need to slowly sell out, you can set up a DCA order in there. And it's very straightforward. Like you can definitely figure that out. Um, but I do want to dive into the settings a little bit, okay, in Trojan. So this is really important stuff. So this is going to set your fee for you automatically. And that is how you're going to pay the validators. So the more money you give the validators, the quicker the transaction is going to be um, validated. And all that means to you is the, the more you are spending here, the faster the transaction will go through and you have the ability to potentially front run other people. If someone has a very low fee and yours is higher, the validator is gonna choose you over them. Uh, I do believe that like 0 0.09 is about as high as you'd ever really need to go. I don't think there's much return after that. And even that is really, really high. So you can honestly just set it on turbo and you'll be perfectly fine. So turbo is good there. You want Mev Protect on for buys and sells. So there's these bots that basically front run your transaction and they sell you the tokens at a higher price. It happens in a split seconds. So if you go buy something for one soul as an example, it'll go buy it, it'll go buy maybe 10 soul, push the price up, sell you your one soul at a way higher price and then pocket the difference. So if you don't want that to happen, which you don't, you should always just have these turned on. It'll save you money for sure. Uh, confirm trades is a good idea. So if you accidentally put in a contract address or click something, it's going to confirm that you want to buy it. It'll slow you down a little bit, but it's probably going to save you some money. Um, so you don't accidentally sell things as well. That can definitely happen. Uh, P&L values. So when you are making plays and you want to share your wins, if that's on, it'll give the dollar amount. So if you don't want people to see how much money you're working with, turn that off and then wallets will show you how many, like your wallets your wallet addresses so that's all in there and then auto sell this is something that a lot of people probably should use and to set it up is pretty easy so this is a good let me just do like another one here so let's go add order uh, and let's go minus 40% or minus 40. Perfect, okay. And let's go 100. So now what this is set up to do, so TPs take profit. And then if we turn this on, now that's working. So at once you, if you buy something and it zooms up and your profit is 110%, it's gonna sell half it. So now you've made some money and you got back your initial investment. So this is a great, great idea and on the flip side if you buy something SL stop loss and it dives 40% it's gonna sell the whole thing for you to protect your downside so this is a this is a very fine setup to have so automatically if you buy something 
you're going to automatically take profit 110 percent and you're going to protect your downside at negative 40 percent so i definitely recommend having those on i don't use them because i'm very hands-on any trade i'm in i'm hands-on on it and i'm going to make those decisions myself but when you're just starting these for sure are not bad options and if you leave them on you're probably going to trade a lot of people to be honest slippage 65 percent I know that's ridiculous, but if something's crashing, everyone's trying to get out, it might not be bad to have your slippage up really high, and you may not get the tokens you're deserved, but at least you're gonna get something and you're gonna get out of there before it, it completely plummets. So that is some fine set-ins there. So we know to put our set-ins on to turbo. We want our MevProtect turned on. We want our auto sale turned on. We want to confirm trades. Turn off PL values. Not super necessary there. And last thing, we'll go look at our buy and sell settings. So in the buy settings, so this is just personal preference. So that's what's up here when you go to buy something. Some people put, might put one soul, five soul, ten soul or 0 0.1, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, that depends on what you're working with. And then your default slippage amount, 15% is totally fine. And then your saw settings would be the exact same thing. Sell on is 50%, 100%, I like that. Other options, 25, I tend to like to do 25% at a time, right? Slippage 30, I mean, that's high, but that's fine. So that's all good in our settings, okay? So you should be set up there. Now let's go back to the start and let's talk about copy trade, okay? So this is a big one. This is a big one. Uh, on the screen here, I'll probably put up some plays. I don't know if, like, anyway. I've had some really good copy trades, okay? And if you watch my video on wallet tracking, I found the wallet like this and literally last night it made me almost $2,000 and then few days before that it was like a really crazy like seven thousand dollar copy trade so i'm sleeping and this stuff is happening it's truly amazing but it's hard it's very very hard to find a good wallet to copy trade i'm telling you that right now you could look for weeks and find nothing so don't think it's going to be easy it's not easy it's very hard and the other thing to keep in mind with copy trading is this particular wallet i'm telling you about buys a lot of bad stuff like 20 trades in a row were horrible horrible like horrible horrible but if you look at their previous history 20 horrible trades and then like two ridiculously good ones where it offsets all the bad trades so something to keep in mind so if you do want to set up a lot to copy trade you click that and you're in this so the tag is what you want to call it and we're going to call it so the, if you watch my wallet tracking video i label things as accordingly so they made 110 profit over the last 30 days with a 55% win rate. So that's what I would take it. So I know roughly their statistics. The target wallet, you would put that in here. And this, do I have one? So whatever, that's the contract address. Put that in there. So the buy percentage. So if you look at their buys, look at what they normally buy. And if they're five sold, two sold, and you're comfortable with that, you can do that. Or you could do like 25%. And I'll just buy 25% of what they put in. Or you could just do like 0 0.2. So you can do percentage or hard amount. 0 0.2 and copy sells, yes. So when they sell, you sell. So this is the gas you want to use. The more gas, the more likely that you're gonna front run. And if you have a very good wallet, you probably want to put this to something kind of crazy like 0.09. So if other people are copy trading, chances are you're gonna have more success about getting that trade before they do. And then auto sell. So this is, do you want the copy trade to, to follow your settings that we set up earlier on the sell feature, which is if this goes down negative 40% to sell it and then take profit 110%. So if you want that, you would turn this on here. And advanced features. So, max buy amount that's great if you don't want them spending too much smart i love that in there and then if you want to avoid pump fund tokens turn that off i would leave that on because if you have a good wallet and they're getting a pump fund early that's nice 
Minimum liquidity, I mean, that's a reasonable thing. You could put in like $2,000 there, roughly, whatever. Minimum market cap, max market cap. So I would assume the reason I have this put in is some wallets who are really good at what they do, excellent traders, they'll go and purposely buy horrible tokens. And then when the price pumps, they'll sell and they'll dump on you. And the reason they do that, it's called rinsing copy traders because they don't want everyone copying their trades all the time. So they might go buy a like 1500 market cap coin. Like you want probably a minimum to be like 25,000. So if they go and they buy a 10,000 market cap coin, it's not gonna trigger. You might even want this to be higher. So this is a safeguard if you have a really great wallet to not get rinsed. So that's what this, this does. Now it may murk you, it may hurt you at some point if they get a coin at 23,000 and it goes to a million, like that would suck. But chances are that's not gonna happen. I leave this off personally, but I can see why you would wanna use that. So if you do have a wallet that is rinsing you often, figure out roughly the market caps they go in and then make that adjustment there. And the other thing, the key is you have to actually turn this on. So this is the exact one. And you actually make sure you click add. I put all these in and I didn't click add. So click add. And so now it's here. So here it is. I see the green thing. This is active. So that's how you set up. I'm deleting this because that's a contract address. So that's how I set up the copy trade. So this video in conjunction with the wallet tracking video really should be the first thing you do on your journey in crypto, okay? Get Telegram, get Trojan, track the wallets, copy trade, but you really gotta know your stuff with copy trading. Like copy trading is extremely risky because like I said, let's say you have one soul you put in 0.1 and then they just make 20 bad trades in a row, like you're out of the game. So you really gotta be strategic with who you copy trade and do within your limits. Um, if you have 10 soul, you know, honestly copy trading 0.2 isn't much, but if they hit 100X, that's still a nice win. So be very careful with copy trade. Be very, very careful with it. It's not easy, it's very hard. Most traders are bad and you don't wanna copy bad traders. So. That's all. I hope this video helped you and I'll see you next time.